little brother Anthony. So, you know, hey, I know you're probably saying, hey, that's a nice top you got there. Well, maybe you're not saying it, but I'm saying that you're saying it, even though you didn't actually say it. Anyway, this comes from India, okay. custom made. You know, see there's a wooden button here, you know? A guy named Johnny from Fertile, you know? He's like the Leonardo uh, da Vinci of, uh, of Oroville. Mm -hmm. India is by Pontecherry in the, you know, Tamanadu State. But you know, see, see this, is, this, this here is actually an inside pocket. Because, you know, in India, the dudes have the inside pocket because there's a lot of, you know, pocket picking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, you know, this, this, this hat was made in, this cap here was made in Oroville also, you know. And uh, in fact, talking about this, this cap is kind of interesting because this design, uh, you know, this woman made it there and I've been wearing, wearing it for years, I don't know how long. I remember I was in Cape Town one time, you know, because I worked on, uh, on work as a part of a thing called Adasa over there on Spin Street. Anyway, I was in the area and these two dudes stopped me and they said, they asked me, do you know where the Jewish Museum is? And, you know, because it seemed like there's some kind of Jewish weave or something mm. like that. And well, luckily, I didn't know where it was because it was right up the street there on, on Plain Street, you know, past the, the Parliament and, and by the museum up there, you know, so I, I, I showed them that. But it's kind of strange as well. One day, maybe they thought it was Jewish, you know, well, which is fine. Maybe. But <laughs> it's kind of interesting because, uh, you know, uh, uh, Israel's doing some stuff. I mean, you know, they're, they're doing unto others as others did unto them <laughs> these mm -hmm. days, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, interesting story to hear, now check this out. Before I, before I came to, uh, to South Africa, I was uh, living in a, in, a, in a vegan house, uh, it's called Casa de Ajo. It's a place where activists come over, I was living there, but it's a place where activists come and they can hang out, well, rest their head for a night, then they go protest in Washington, D.C. This is Washington, D.C. And right before I left, there was like a, at two o'clock in the afternoon, there was a running gun battle. <laughs> you know, these two like Latino gangs, or like Peruvian and I don't know, some some down South American gangs, and in the middle of the street, and and you know they were shooting, they were shooting stuff. They shot this bus, and the bus driver got injured, and and I saw a blood trail because one of the kids, they, I guess they wasn't too smart, because what they did was they 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 got shot in the leg, but they rode their bicycle and basically bled out. It was a big thing, but that night. The police chief, this was this guy was a character, so, so you know, you know, the sin and the shame is that, you know, they, they you know, Martin Luther King and them, they process for integration, then they got all these black cops that do stupid things, you know what I mean? They arrest, you know, I don't want to get into all that. Anyway, this fact, this guy was so weird. He, he they, they somehow got a pimp car, you know, somehow busted this pimp and took his car and put the police decal on a pimp car thinking that it would impress the kids that they should become police officers rather than pimps. I don't know why I forgot that. Anyway, but my point is, he took he got on the news that night and said it was a cry and shame, it was a sin and a shame that, you know, these, these cats would be in the middle of, you know, two o'clock in the afternoon shooting up, you know, people, this was on the news. And then I looked, the next news item was about like the Israelis with this gunship, you know, helicopter gunship shooting up this Palestinian, you know, a big old house or something like that. And I immediately thought, well, you know, if those gangs had gunships, they'd be shooting up Washington, D.C., you know? So it's kind of weird to me. But actually, it's not what I want to talk about. In fact, you know what's what it is? When I look at all this, there's a lot of stuff happening in the world. You know, you see these guys invading places, and they always got the shows. They got the shoulder rockets. You know, they got you know all this stuff. And I'm thinking like, hey, it's pretty phallic. <laughs> you know, I got my walking stick because I'm a old. You know, or well, you say, well, it's you know, I know the tradition is like you're the man. You know, you you go to the um, to, to initiation school. You have the black stick, and then you come back and you get you know the old man. You get your stick. You learn the fighting and you know stick fighting, and technically. I told you I was in the Ingram Sambo Company intermediate class. When they did Congress Harvest, we all learned how to stick fight. So technically, I, I'm, I'm quick with a stick. But you know, with all the stuff that's going on, well, I, this is way too phallic for me. I can't be dealing with these rockets and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just changing sticks. 
<laughs> I know you all put some some lizard, you know, grease on it to make it really sturdy and whatnot. So I'm, I'm gonna get me another walking stick because I ain't I ain't with all this war stuff. You know what I'm saying? So um, <laughs> you just have to forgive the ravings of an old man because you know, I went eldership last week, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing the old man thing. The old man, because this is one of those dispatches, you know, from the arch director emeritus. Uh, uh, that would be me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm.